A winner, Mobile First Brands. In 2015, we ranked the digital performance of 1,800 brands across 11 industry verticals. Only 66, or a little bit more than 3%, were classified as geniuses. What defines a digital genius? In part, a mobile first strategy. Over half of searches and site visits now occur on mobile devices, and the brands we awarded genius status to own the first mobile search result for their brand term. They also have moved beyond the requisite mobile optimized site and leveraged technology, including geolocation. One clear winner in mobile innovation, Home Depot, that is an inspiration across all digital. The retail's best in class mobile site lets consumers search the inventory at their local store and easily find items once in the store. Shoppers can even search for a product by simply taking a picture of it, and the brand's mobile app includes several useful features, such as replacing a measuring tape with your shoe size. A winner, Rolex. After years of ignoring digital, Rolex began posting on Instagram in November. The brand harnessed the power of its celebrity ambassadors who welcomed Rolex to Instagram using their own personal accounts. As a result, Rolex increased its follower count an impressive 500% in just two months. It looks like the second mouse got the cheese here. The average Rolex post in December generated 13,000 interactions, twice that of the average watch brand, according to our recent Digital IQ Index for watches and jewelry. A winner, American Eagle. Despite a stock decline in 2013, American Eagle was steadfast regarding Omnichannel. Over the next two years, the brand methodically invested in Omnichannel features, including ship from store and opening a state-of-the-art fulfillment center and rolling up e-commerce and retail reporting, breaking down the silos so everyone was working together. That long game has paid off. For the first half of 2015, American Eagle reported sales growth of 11%. It's easy to say that public companies are very short-term sided, but here's a company that's made disciplined investments and it's paying off for shareholders. Here at L2, we love data visualizations. This infographic depicts how you will likely die. The most dangerous disease for teens is pure stupidity as the primary cause of death is external causes. Through your 50s, it's cancer. If you survive your boomer years, you're likely to die of a circulatory disease. For me, I plan on dying in my sleep, even if the other people in the car are screaming in terror. We'll see you next week.